Today we are going to create this. Alright, let's create this effect from scratch. Now go to the edit page and let's add a fusion composition to the timeline like so and increase it to say about a minute or two. Now add the music into your media pool and drag it to your timeline like so and make sure it aligns nicely now go back into the fusion page and now let's add a text 3d now we can type any text let's say subscribe and make it a nice and clean font and let's extrude it slightly and enable the lighting and shadows now let's add a few spotlights like so and from this end let's add another spotlight now it's well lit let's add in a camera and select the merge 3d node and add in a renderer 3d now let's view the renderer 3d and you get this so select open gl renderer and enable the lighting and shadows now we get this 3d extruded text rendered now go back to text 3d and to any of these options you can add the modifier suckless audio it's also called audio wav under the modif modifiers tab select that and under modifiers you will get the option to select the music for which you need the need the text to be keyframed so you select a wave file note that this is a 16-bit wave file only that works and if you have an mp3 file you can convert it online to any 16-bit wave file and once you selected it and click play you can see based on the beats the size of the text changes now you can't hear the audio inside this fusion page directly like in fusion standalone so what you can do is click somewhere and add a media in node and now you should be able to hear the audio if you could not just uh, Press on the, this button, Purge Audio Cache once, and you should be able to hear it. Now, if you are only able to hear, to say, say 100 frames or so, what you need to do is, in the Media in node, you go to the Image tab and select Media Pool here from the Media Source option. And now you will be able to hear the music. Right. So you can change the options in the modifier to say any others like unsigned average so that the effect is not too strong and now as you see you can animate it any of the keyframeable options you can set the amplitude scale you can set the amplitude offset and so now the 
let's uh, reset this by going to tools and let's stop being and double click on this to reset it now the exciting part of any text tools in fusion is the follower modifier you need to right click on this and click on follower and you'll get a modifier added and this tab gets enabled so when i click on follower this tab gets enabled now go to the modifiers tab now you have all these options you can set the delay let me go into the text now there is one thing about this follower modifier when you change the size nothing happens when you're going to transform and do a rotate nothing happens the reason is you will have to first click on this you have to keyframe it to see the effect now you see you can change the size similarly the rotation when you add the keyframe the effect works you can do anything with this again add a y rotation and so let's reset everything back now in the follower modifier let's go into the transform now we have x and y let's change the x and y with the wave modifier let's go to modify with and select modifiers audio wave now select the music which you want and now when you click play you're, you're not able to see the effect because you'll have to increase the amplitude scale if you increase it higher you can see it changing according to the beats in the song now back in the follower tab let's go to the options and let's set a delay to say seven or so now if you click play each letter between each letter there will be a delay and you can select the type of delay if it should be between each character or between the first and last character like so let's set it back to between each character and let's say left to right now go back into the transform and similarly let's set it to y as well now right click modify with and add another modifier or you can connect it to the same already existing modifier now when we play as you can see according to the beats it changes now since uh, there are no reseeding kind of kind of options it would be better to add a diff uh, different modifier audio wave modifier to the followers y rotation because we don't want the same values here so let's add modify with modifier a different wave modifier you select the same music but now you can change the amplitude scale to something else now when you play you get something like this based on the beats of the music you can try checking out other options like unsigned min unsigned average and so but this is good enough let's now try changing other options in the follower tab let's change the color now go into the shading tab and you have red green and blue you can either right click and connect to the same audio wave modifiers like so and connect you can select this pin tool so that it remains open right click on the green tab connect to let's connect this to audio wave to output now you get different colors 
that is because the red and green values changes ba based on the beats and the set amplitudes so now you get this colorful text if you'd like to you can also set the blue to connect to some either of the audio waveforms but then you might not get uh, different colors because the blue and that other modifier might get the same values so let's reset the blue and set it to some a new additional audio wave modifier get audio wave 3 now now you select the same music now set a different amplitude scale now you get this colorful effects now let me go back into perspective mode and let me get a bit closer view and set this pov to camera now you see this shadows of these other letters these hard edges hard edged shadows this is not looking good and this is because of the spotlights spotlights shadows so what you need to, to fix this what you need to do is go into the spotlight go back into this tools tab go into the shadows of the spotlight and in softness set it to constant or variable and that gets fixed up you can also select variable fast i prefer it to be constant similarly for the other spotlight you can select it to be constant now we get this nice colorful looking text that changes its position and colors based on the beats of the music and now you can go further by enabling motion blur or maybe you can add some glow like exponential glow again which you can find it on the reactor let's remove the checker and delay now this is a bit too strong let's increase the radius reduce the fall off use the gain let's reduce the spotlight intensity as well somewhere around 0.6 should be nice in the other spotlight let's reduce it to 0.5 like so and you get this nice effect when you play back based on the music now it's going to get a bit slow depending on your configuration of pc you can render it out and check it and you can make any modifications it's not only color you can also modify anything now everything is under the text 3d you can go back to the modifiers tab under follower you can animate anything so that's it if you have any comments type it into into the comments below and please do subscribe to this channel for more exciting and creative DaVinci Resolve tutorials. Thank you. Have a great day.